Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to design a simply supported beam singlet reinforcement, right? The steps are there and the condition is beam dimensions are not known. We don't know the dimensions of the beam also. So firstly we will calculate the effective depth and the width. Next step effective span that is the L effective it is calculated by this spreadsheet. This is the longitudinal section and this is the cross section. Next is the load calculation. So it will be calculated by this and next is the bending moment calculation and finally the tension steel bars in the step 4 bottom steel will be calculated and the compression steel that is the minimum top steel will be calculated. Deflection check next step is deflection check will be done and the shear reinforcement what will be the shear reinforcement that is the strips will be in the beam and finally the development length check will be there right so through this spreadsheet it will be calculated automatically and in quick response so let's start we have to design a beam of span length 4 meter to carry a load udl is there 25 kN per meter support width is 230 mm so width of the support is 230 mm and m20 and fe415 so you need to fill your data in these pink cells only right so it will be calculated all the dimensions so fck in our case is 20 fy is 415 clear span is 4 meter now you can see that length is 4000 mm and assume l by d ratio equals to 12 we all know that the ads as per the is code l by d ratio is 20 for the simply supported beam but it will be you have to increase the depth so i have taken due to the experience you can take the l by d is 12 so you will get the depth which will be required right so d provided we will go for higher depth so 400 mm i have assumed the 400 mm is the d provided effective cover is 50 mm so finally overall depth is calculated as 450 mm right so now we width width is how width will be calculated two third of d provided what we have provided the d provided two third of this will be the width so 266.6 mm so we can assume so higher dimension is 300 so finally 300 by 450 mm is the beam size we have calculated support width is 230 mm it has been given so we have now you can see that the effective span is calculated in the is code center to center distance is 4.23 because the bearing width is 230 mm so half 230 here and half 230 here plus 4 meter is 4.23 right so clear span plus effective depth 4.40 so whichever is less the l effective is calculated now you can see that the load calculation we know that the what is the udl over the beam is 25 kN meter so we have to put here 25 now you can see that self weight of the beam is calculated 3.38 b into d into 25 25 is the rcc unit okay and the total load on the beam is sum of these two 28 and finally the factored load on the beam which for which it has to be designed is 1.5 times of these overall load uh, ra and rb is the reaction of the support is calculated 85.13 that is the formula w l by 2 w is the factored load into l by 2 okay now bending moment calculation you can see that bending moment by this formula w L effective we have calculated 4.23 square by 8 so 95.20 is the moment we know that the coefficient for fe415 is 0.138 now you can see that mu limiting is calculated 132 and d required according to this formula d required you can see that d required is calculated 88 but we have provided d 400 mm right so now this is okay and mu is less than mu what is mu bending moment calculation is less than mu limiting that is a mor moment of resistance of the beam so then it is a singly reinforced beam so we are designing a singly reinforced beam right okay now you can see that for the tension steel bottom bars pt is calculated by this formula percent of steel is this much ast required is this much AST minimum by IS code is this much so 245 whichever is greater the AST required will be this much maximum reinforcement should not be greater than this much so hence okay 
so 5400 is the maximum reinforcement and AST required is 759 so if you choose 16 mm dia four numbers are required so you can see that four number 16 mm dia in the bottom steel so you can see that four number 16 mm in the tension bar for the compression steel if you choose 12 mm so three numbers are required for the compression steel you can see that three numbers are required fine so tension bar bottom steel has been calculated and top steel is been calculated now for the deflection check you can see that span by depth ratio in equals to 20 into modification factor this is modification factor we have to calculate it by this chart fs is calculated by this formula 0.58 fi ast required upon ast provided this has been calculated 164 and pt provided is 0 0.60 so you can see that 0 0.60 and this is 164 will lie here only so 1.3 is the modification factor so you can see that now this is okay l by d maximum is this much and l by d provided is 8.89 so l by d max is greater than l by d provided hence it is okay reflection check is okay now shear reinforcement you can see that vu the shear ultimate shear force is calculated w l by 2 so 85.513 is the VU. Tau V is calculated. AST provided. We all know that 8803. Now PT provided is 0.54. Tau C is. Now you have to calculate the Tau C to go for the interpolation. So 0.54 lie between 0 0.50 and 0.75. So 0 0.50 and 0.75. And what is the value for M20? 0 0.50, this is 0 0.48, 0 0.48, and this is 0 0.56, 0 0.56. Now you can see that Tossy value is calculated 0 0.491. Shear bars are required. So stirrups, if you are choosing 8 mm stirrup, 2 leg stirrup, you can see that provide 2 leg stirrup, 8 mm, 190 mm center to center. So this is been calculated so strips is also been calculated right now the next step is development length so for the tension side and compression side you have to calculate the ld value so for m20 this is 1.2 you can see that tau bd from this chart now 544 is the ld required and ld provided is 550 and the compression side the development length is 330 so you can see that this is 330 compression side and 550 in the tension side so by this spreadsheet by changing these values you can automatically calculate the overall value effective length load calculation bending moment calculation tension bars bottom steel compression steel deflection check and the shear reinforcement and the all the rules and the formulas are over here interpolation you have to done by table 19 and the development length calculation so friends, if you like this video, if you want this extra sheet, please WhatsApp me or mail me on my mail ID. Thanks for watching.